Hey guys, Angler2222 here. Welcome back to Pokemon XD. In the last part, well, we made it pretty much to the end of Snagum Hideout. In this part, well, I'll hopefully defeat Gonzap, as I actually am quite a bit under level, but screw it, I'm going for it anyway, and... Eh, I have a Pokemon that can take out pretty much his old team anyway, so I shouldn't have a major problem. <laughs> Walk in. Exactly! He is the Macho Man. And of course, we're here. So yeah, we have to fight this guy before fighting Gonzap. His levels aren't actually all that much higher than my levels as of right now. And by the way, my team destroying Pokemon is Houndoom. Because, well... Eh. Fire just destroys everybody's team here, so... I'm gonna double team them in hopes that they go down quickly. Or better yet, I get a 1-8 KO, which is awesome! And he's sending out a Mantine now, which is, well, not that scary. Maybe I can get a Paralyze. Oh, no Paralyze. And thank God Sleep Powder missed. So I guess I'll Body Slam. I'll Double Team Gloom again because I don't want it Sleep Powder in my team. Even though you can cure sleep ridiculously easy in this game with the call function. And then I get a critical hit I didn't even need. Yay for that. And now Flaffy levels up. Cotton Spore. Hmm, that could be useful. Only problem is... It's just not worth it. I had better support moves anyway. Heal, Bell, and Thunder Wave should be all I need anyway. And now he's sending out something even more flammable than those other things. Fortress. And then it targets the thing I don't even need to be, well, active, so... And then I get Body Slam off anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Only problem is, it went for Fortress, but... Fortress is the definition of flammable being a bug steel type. It's only weakness is fire, but fire destroys it. That, and to add to the fact it doesn't have any special defense either, that shouldn't be a problem. And now he's sending out Grumpig, which... Actually... What a jerk. Well, that was mean. I guess I'll try a Thundershocking Mantine and then... I guess I'll switch Houndoom out for now, because it's not going to stand up to confusion that well. So I'll send Vapori on him for the time being. It's not even doing anything major anyway. And it's using a surprisingly good attack. But that's still not tons of damage. But I hit myself in confusion being as awesome as I am, so. <sighs> I guess I'll try Thunder Shocking again and then I'll bite Grumpig. But of course, Grumpig is really, really fast. So there goes Flaffy. And I'll shift Swallowed in, because I can't risk the switch on well. Actually, yeah, I can't risk the switch. That was weak. 
Meaning this could actually get kind of bad. And that was a dumb move of me to swap Swalot in, because Grumpig will just eat it. Or no, it's too busy being stupid. I'm a double team Mantine because I really want that thing dead. This won't do much damage, but... I love how I see it doesn't do much, it's not gonna do anything, and then it gets a crit. And then Houndoom leveled up, which is awesome. And Vaporeon's pretty much leveled up too. So I guess I'll leave Swalot in for now. I'll try Encoring it, see what that does. HA! YES! It's Encored in the light screen! What now? Now it has to use light screen each and every turn. There is the problem my attacks doing practically nothing to it, but... I really don't care. It is now no longer a threat to me and I can take my time. Because, I mean, yeah, Encore is a gamble at times, but here, it's probably what saved me. Because, yeah, he now has to use Light Screen, which made that really easy. Which is also why I put Swalot on my team. So if the enemy tries to use a stat move, they're locked into it. Exactly. So now we have the fight with the big boss. Yes, we will join you. So now we're fighting the big boss himself, Gonzap. His levels are high, but his Pokémon aren't that scary. And yay for me, I ended up starting with Baltoy, which I wanted to use anyway. So that, well, to make things worse for Electrode. So yeah, his levels are high, but his Pokémon aren't all that great. And of course, Nuzleaf's using Fake Out, which forces a flinch. Oh, you jerk. I mean, yeah, Baltoy's no stamina, but... Oh, wow! Two critical hits? Are you joking? Oh, that's a bad start. Guess I'll put Swalot out. And Flamethrower should do me good damage. Yeah, that took out Nuzleaf in one shot. It's actually kind of sad that I can see Electrode honestly being the most threatening thing he has. And then I don't know what I'll have it do. Hmm... Let's try Sludging Electrode. That wasn't... ...bad. I thought it was gonna paralyze for some reason, but I guess not. And I know Spark doesn't auto-paralyze, it's just... I don't want to get paralyzed, so... yeah. Anything to help me out with that. Please, Poison! Yes! That'll make things way easier. Of course it carries Sleep Powder. But it went for the wrong Pokémon. I'm probably...
probably not gonna get killed this turn unless Electro decides to be stupid and explode. So, eh, I don't even know. I'll take out Vileplume so I can't do anything, and then I'll call Swallow off to cure its sleep. Ah! Facade. How I hate that move. Basically, it doubles in power if the opponent has a bad status. And Swalot leveled up, which is good. And out comes Whiskash, which could actually be kind of bad for me. I'll try to take out Electrode as quickly as possible now. Let's hope it doesn't... Yeah, it's not going for Facade. I can survive. Even more so that it went for the bulkier thing on my team. So yeah, Electrode's down now, which is awesome. And now he's sending out Skarmory, his trump card from Colosseum. Of course, I just had to double team that thing. And then there's Whiskash, which is just being really stupid anyway. All flamethrower Skarmory, Skarmory and... I guess I'll send in Vaporeon here to, well, hopefully be able to stall against Whiskash because I don't have anything that's directly good against Whiskash. It only has one weakness, Grass, which I am not carrying. And then flamethrower destroys Skarmory because Skarmory is no... Special defense. It's probably going for Houndoom. Yeah, as expected. But to be fair, Houndoom's kind of useless now that Whiskash is the only thing he has left. So we'll send out Teddy Ears and, well, just hope I can take out Whiskash. So I guess I'll, well, use Return here and then. I'll have Vaporeon bite. Maybe I can get a flinch hacks going on. Yeah, as you can see, Whiskash is kind of Okay then. That was weak. And it can't even do anything next turn because it was stupid and used Hyper Beam. Because the way Hyper Beam works, yeah. It's really powerful, but it, if it hits, you, well, can't move the next turn. And Whiskash is pretty much dead anyway, so, yeah. So that takes out Whiskash. And that's the end with the fight at God Zap. That went a lot easier than I thought it might have gone. Then again, I don't remember God Zap being really hard anyway, but... At the same time, it could have gone way worse. All the trouble... What you did was follow a 10-year-old to a boat, drugged him, and stole his arm. That's about all you did, guys. Don't act like you did anything more. And now we get the epic music that says we have the snag machine. And now we have Gonzap's key. 
Which, well, there's a chest on the ground floor somewhere, which we couldn't open earlier that I didn't even go for. Now we can get it. Why would Mir B be in the Snagum hideout? And yeah, my team is pretty beat up as you can see. And there's two folios, which actually would have come in kind of handy, but... To my status effect, Gonzap seems to enjoy spamming his sleep, so... I guess... Well... We got lucky. Anyway, I swear to god, if Mirby's guarding the... Heal machine... I will beat him. Like, actual violence. Because, I mean, it's like, I do not want to fight you at this moment! I think it's also just a question. That's all. I wouldn't even be here anyway! Snake never did anything to him personally. <sighs> so I guess I'll try to find this chest. Which I guess is over there, so... Time to go walk around the hideout one last time. I don't want to go up there. So I guess I'll... Actually, I guess I do want to go up, don't I? I mean... Because I'm pretty sure if I go down, that'll just... Take me, well, back to the, um, boss's room. So, let's go get a reward. Could this be the chest over there? Why would it be locked in a cell of all places? A PP up, that's awesome. But I don't think that's the reward we were looking for. Let's sneak around this guy. Maybe this was it. And we found a TM-30! Which I believe is Brick Break, but I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, it's Shadow Ball. That can that could come in handy. Let's see what can learn it. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'll save it for later, but I think I might give it to Vaporeon later on. Just so it has something to lower special defense with. Or Ball Toy might be a good idea too, but... I'm not sure at this point. So, well... We've found the secret, so... Let's get out of here. Let's hit the outskirts stint. Wait, they don't have a PC there, so... I'll... well... Let's go to the Shadow Lab so I can drop a Pokemon off, then. Because, Hordell actually had a prize of sorts for us, but... You can't actually... Seriously? These guys again? Yeah, screw it. I'm making the smart move and going to Fennec. So, I'll go here. Drop off a random Pokemon I have. Let's see. Let's put Flaffy in the PC. So, 
so let's head to outskirts stand now and claim our prize. So yeah, we'll head there now. Ignoring Willie and his pink haredness. They took them to their factory! Duh! Oh, where is Hordal? Well, that was random. Oh, there's Hordal. Yes, we'll take it. Yeah, I only wanted to come get that now so I didn't have to worry about it later. I'm not going to be using it because Tukapi doesn't get awesome until 4th gen where its evolved form is probably one of the best Pokemon in the game for flinch hacks and stuff. So yeah, I guess I'll come back, deposit it, and then end the part off because I mean, I feel that defeating Gonzap is good enough because I mean, well... I honestly didn't think I'd be able to do it at that point, but sure enough, my Houndoom practically one-hit all of his Pokémon, and then Whiskash went down pretty easy anyway. So I'll put Togepi in here. Well, that's the end of this part. So, next time on Pokemon XD, well, we'll s probably start the Cypher Factory, since that's all we really have to do now. Actually, yeah, we are pretty close to the end of the game. There's just the Cypher Factory and maybe one more area we need to cover, and that's the end of the game. So, yeah, see you next time.